Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add some voices to the Pilot to ATC. The default voices that come with Microsoft uh, when you install Pilot to ATC are only two voices, uh, David and uh, Zeba or something like that. So um, the issue is, is when you fly and go to the different controllers and departure and, and ground, etc., it's nice to have different voices to distinguish the handoff. Um, so well, the uh, initial voices that are installed with Pilot to ATC and with Windows 10 are only two voices. So after searching on the internet on how to add voices, I got a little bit frustrated with some of the bad information out there and misinformation and even searching on uh, YouTube I didn't see any tutorials on how to add voices I saw some information in the forums but a lot of it was wrong information and even in the manual of Pilot to ATC if you go through the hundreds of pages in the manual which is very good the instructions there for adding the Microsoft voices don't work so how do you add a whole range of voices? And it's not that difficult, but uh, for those that are faint of heart, it does involve editing your registry, which is not difficult. I'll show you. It's really very, very simple. So the first thing you want to do is to go to your system folder and go to uh, time and language here. Go to languages and then click on add a language as you can see i've added a lot of lang languages here uh, most of them in english but i've added a few other languages just to give some uh, accents to the uh, controllers of an atc so uh, click on add a language and then if you type in up here english you'll see all of the different uh, Englishes that are available. Now what you want to look for is uh, the microphone symbol here. So you can see the uh, English from India I've already downloaded. Uh, you want to be able to, uh, the English UK, US, all of those install different voices on your computer so that uh, you can have um, have a range of different voices as well there are a lot of actually default voices installed on Windows 10 that you can't access through Pilot to ATC so I'm going to show you how to uh, how to access all of those so uh, let's just choose something here that we haven't already installed I may have already installed all of the English ones that are available so let's choose another language say uh, you want a French controller and when you install these different languages, the uh, controller actually speaks uh, English, but they speak it with the French accent or the German accent or the Spanish accent. So, so that's what you want to look for. So let's go for the French Canada here. And you click Next, and you don't need the handwriting installed. We'll just go for the speech. And so that just takes a few seconds to install the uh, Canadian French and once uh, once that's installed uh, we can um, will export the file just do a simple little tweak and uh, re uh, import it into the registry all right so we've got the French Canada now now I don't know what the uh, language the uh, Microsoft gives a name to the the uh, language that's the person that's speaking the language so I don't know what that is. So uh, we'll find it, though, because I know what the other names are. So type in here in the search bar on your Windows Start menu, type in Reg Edit, which is your registry edit editor. And it'll say, are you sure you want to uh, edit your registry? So uh, let's look. And it looks like the... Uh, I know all of these other voices here, so it looks like the voice that came in for the French was Claude. <laughs> so we're going to going to have Claude as a controller on our pilot to ATC, and he's going to speak with a French accent. So what you do is uh, in your um, 
ed registry editor here, you you uh, go down uh, down to to this, and if you just installed it, it'll probably open right to to the language here. So what you do is you right click on Claude, go export, and I'm just putting it to the download folder, and I'll just call it Claude, and you save that into the download folder. Then uh, go to that fold that file that you just downloaded, and we'll just open this here. Go to the downloads, and we'll see Claude we downloaded here. Right click and then open that with uh, Notepad, and this is the file uh, regist the uh, registry uh, values that have been added. So it's very simple. All you have to do is uh, from speech here over to uh, the voices there is you just delete that one core. Uh, you just uh, delete the one core wording there. Save it. And that's uh, all there is to editing that file. And then right click on the file that you just saved and go merge. And it'll ask you, you sure you want to red edit your registry? And you say yes. Then it says the values have successfully been added to the registry. So that's all there is to it. Now uh, we have to restart um, uh, your pilot to ATC in order to get that language that you just just added. So we just uh, uh, open pilot to ATC again, and I'll come back when uh, it's opened. All right, so we're back in Pilot to ATC now, and if you go to the config here, you go to speech, or voices, I mean, and you'll find that you'll see Claude is available here now um, as a voice. And if you listen to it... This is Microsoft Claude. He will be your IT voice for the flight. <laughs> so... Some of the accents, uh, some of the languages are more difficult to understand than others, and you may not want to use them, but certainly uh, all of the uh, other different voices that you've added here, like James. This is Microsoft James the first will be your ground controller for the flight. All right, so that isn't the default voice that comes, and the same with Richard. This is Microsoft Richard the first will be your tower controller for the flight. And of course, then you've got, uh, you know, you've got good voices here for in, in English uh, for things like Irish and, and whatnot. So that's a, a simple tutorial. Uh, I, where is Sean? I think uh, we got that there. That's the Irish. This accent. is Microsoft Sean. I will be your artist voice for the flight. All right, so there you go. That's a simple way, and it doesn't cost you. If you look at buying voices, I know some people have said, you know, buy voices. Well, $45 a voice, you know, that's that's quite a steep price to pay. These are all free voices. So enjoy flying with uh, your multiple voices in Pilot to ATC.